Hey Westside family, some of you know where I'm at this morning. I like to choose different spots and I'm going up a pretty hard hill here. I like to go up six or seven, eight times. I used to do that when I was younger, haven't been here much in the last few years. But anyway, I wanna just briefly give you an update what's going on. I know I mentioned uh, some of the posts or different things that it can take a while to certify the votes, you know, up to, they have up to a month. Uh, but I think with what they're calling a landslide, uh, and let me dissect this for a minute, was there shenanigans, a lot of things going on, I, I, I believe absolutely so. I mean, there obviously is with elections, but to the degree that it happened with millions of votes, I'm not sure they're gonna find that many votes, number one. Number two, it could be that California is liberal. Uh, we sometimes live in a bubble. Hope you hear me, it's windy. We live in a bubble, so we surround ourselves with people who enjoy our bubble, but we don't realize that like 70 or 80% of big county, San Diego County, uh, Los Angeles County, uh, San Francisco County, all vo voted against the recall. And so once you don't get over that 51%, 51%, you don't get a recall. And that doesn't matter who's on the ballot. So, um, boy, a lot of thoughts here. I see <laughs> there's posts right now, real estate agents fleeing California. Call me, call me. Don't flee because of this. If you leave, make sure you're prayed up, you're seeking God, and God is moving you. That's a big difference. When God moves you, it's great. When fear moves you, you realize there's lots of regret and you might move back. So just wait on God. I wouldn't let this scare me uh, or, or, or uh, move me. But here's the thing, how long have I, I've been saying this? We are angry, but not broken. We are hurt, but not humble. We've got uh, breaking ankles and some, some dreams have been shattered. And, uh, you know, that's what God, God uses this. Here's why I'm encouraged. God uses this to break and to break and to break. We forget that the Bible teaches a lot about suffering. And I don't like that. Don't get, don't, don't misunderstand. I don't like that. I want what's best for my kids. I want be, what it's best for us, you know, enjoyable lives, which is good. It can be God honoring. But if our kids don't know anything about failure and frustra frustration and things like that, it's gonna be a very difficult life. So be careful what you speak into their lives right now during the season of frustration. I would build them up, encourage them, say, hey, our trust is in God, not in Gavin Newsom. And I believe, like I've been saying, we're not at a spot of brokenness. We're not at a spot of humility. We are, where's the, where's the prayer meetings? Nobody's emailing us for more prayer meetings. Uh, 6 a.m. morning worship has been, good morning, has been just declining and declining and declining. Not, you know, it just, it happens. Um, better take her out of the view. I don't know if there's copyright issues. <laughs> but, it, 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 and again, there's seasons, you know, we had a hundred people once and I think now 50, 60, which is, and it's not about numbers, but it shows you the spiritual hunger. I've been saying this ever since we planned the church. I can tell how hungry people are by when they're at night, or tonight, worship night. Let's see, let's see how hungry you are. 6 a.m. worship, let's see how hungry you are consistent church attendance put that above your sporting events and your boating and your and your kayaking and your mountain bike riding and all these different things and i do most of those things so don't get me wrong but what's the priority god must be the priority so in my opinion i don't know everything i believe that there's a lot of people who were afraid of two of the virus and they vote according to fear that's just a strategy of politicians so I know of Republicans and other people who left Newsom in office because of how he handled the virus and they, they believe in a good way. You know, stop it, close down, stay at home. I mean, 15 days turned into, 15 days to curb it, turned into 500, but let's not go there. So that's what happened. I believe fear and people just vote according to fear. I do believe there was cheating shenanigans, but I don't believe it was to the magnitude of where it's gonna reset or uh, re redo the election. He won by, uh, according to numbers, millions of votes. And now do I believe the numbers? Not necessarily, but I don't think, I don't think millions of votes were transferred. Now, boy, wouldn't that be great if I was proved wrong? Uh, wouldn't that be awesome? But just the same way with Trump, I said this is the same thing, lost some friends over it. God is refining the church, and until we understand that, it's gonna be a difficult journey. God is breaking us, humbling us, take your trust away from men, and get your face 
planted on the floor before me, start praying and worshiping me. Then, then I will hear the, hear, the, hear the prayers of my people. When you turn from your sin, not, not stay caught in it and, and continue in it and put God on the back burner. So let this be an encouragement. I hope to see more people tonight at our Wednesday nights and our worship mornings. The 26 is a live worship. We're going to be on fire for God. We're going to go to services every night the last week in October. Maybe more if God directs. We're getting hungry for God. So don't let this turn you into a bitter, angry, resentful person. Let it, oh, okay, Lord, break me, break me, break me. And then from that could, could come tremendous joy. And if you start to feel, you know, bad about the situation, just focus on what Christians are going through in Afghanistan. That will change your view very quickly.